you have the ability to customize the organization of the views within the project browser. This may help you manage large numbers of views. Even small projects may have many views for different purposes, such as sorting by discipline or for managing separate printable and working views. To access the project browser organization, there are two areas that you may work from. The properties palette will display data for any selection. To view the properties of the current browser organization, select the top branch of the hierarchy for views. Yours will probably show views all as does my default project. The name in parentheses is the active project browser organization. As we can see from the properties, we can switch to another type from the type selector, but not edit the types from this location. If you right click and choose properties, you may change types, edit the properties of types, or create duplicates. You cannot edit the type named all, as this is the default browser organization and is both unfiltered and ungrouped. The alternate location is under the view ribbon bar on the Windows panel. Click on the user interface tool and select browser organization. The browser organization has two tabs for views and sheets. We will focus on the views tab for this lesson. The all organization is current and is indicated by the check mark. Select the sort group discipline, then click edit to view the properties of that sort group. Many of the parameters assigned to views are available for grouping. In this case, discipline is selected. All characters indicates that the entire field value of discipline will be displayed in the project browser. Leading characters allows an abbreviated display. Next, we are sorting by family and type. This is how the views are sorted by default. So in essence, we are adding one folder above that to collect the project views. You'll notice that there is a third position for folder grouping which is unused. Within each folder, views are sorted by view name parameter and in ascending order. Click OK and look at the project browser. You will notice that now architectural, structural, and electrical are all displaying under views and within have view types with the views underneath that. Press Enter to open the dialog again. Switch to Not on Sheets and click OK. Expand the floor plan views and duplicate Level 1. Rename Copy of Level 1 to Level 1 Working. We may have separate views for modeling and printing. Open Sheet X102 and place the Level 1 demolition view on it. Notice that this view is no longer listed in the project browser. It is listed under the active sheet, however you may work through the viewport by selecting it, activating the view from the sheet composition panel viewports tool of the view ribbon bar. Perform your edits and then select Deactivate View when finished. You may also work directly on the view by opening it from the list below the sheet name in the project browser. This workflow can really aid in assisting new users to understand the implications of making a change to a view that has a direct relationship to the view on the sheet, as they are one in the same. Even experienced users can benefit from being able to quickly pick up red lines for many views in the context of the sheet, thereby saving time navigating the view structure.